Hi everyone, welcome to Orient Tutorials on Mechanics of Fluids. And in this video lecture, I am going to explain about hydro hydrostatic pressure force and the center of pressure on a curved plane. So when it is submerged in a liquid, so what is the equation we can consider uh, for hydrostatic pressure force? That is the total pressure force and the center of pressure for that particular plate. Uh, we try to derive here. And next here. So this is assume a container and in which one curved plate is submerged which is at a particular height of h okay so for finding the total pressure force on this curved plate which is submerged in the liquid at a height of h first initially we try to assume a small elemental area da okay so to this elemental area da perpendicular to it certain force due to pressure will be acting so assume this pressure as df okay so according to that here the pressure acting on this elemental area we can write so the elemental area pressure at any point if you select uh, with respect to this height so the pressure acts in the form of rho gh only okay so same time the uh, elemental area also we have assumed at a height of that is at a depth of h so automatically the pressure acting on an elemental area can be also equal to rho gh so now we try to write the pressure force on that element so on the same elemental area da so what is the pressure force we can write it as means force df is equal to we can write it as pressure into area okay so we know that the pressure at a depth of h is rho g h into area as it is write it as da okay so this is the pressure force on this particular elemental area da and as we normally know the total force that is the total pressure force f can be written as integration of this equation but actually this equation cannot be applicable to this curved surface why because this integration uh, uh, why because here the force is varying from point to point on the curved plate okay try to read this sentence this integration cannot be applied as the direction of the force is varying from point to point on the curved plate here so because of uh, the plate is curved so whatever the pressure force acts at a particular point so when you go through the number of points or the curved surface the direction of the pre pressure force will be varying so when the direction of the pressure force varies we cannot apply the integration equation so by integral uh, of this equation we won't get the total pressure force so for that what we do means here we go to the next one so we need to resolve the forces that means by resolving the elemental forces into two components in x and y direction we can find the resultant force okay this small elemental force itself we are dividing into two components okay as uh, dx dfx and dfy so by finding this dfx and dy dfy and these two are acting in horizontal and vertical direction and when we apply the integration for these two will be getting total force in x direction total force in y direction then the complete force can be determined in the form of square root of fx square plus fy square that is the normal equation for finding the resultant force so by resolving these uh, force df in two directions we try to find the horizontal and vertical forces here okay by assuming the theta which is an angle between df and dfy okay so now we try to write df is equal to sorry dfx is equal to we can write it as the horizontal component of this df which is df sin theta okay this this df is the adjacent and this can become opponent so automatically dfx is equal to we can write as df sin theta so again this df in place of df what we can write rho g h d already we got the force which is acting on elemental strip as rho g h d a so that here we can write it as in place of df rho g h d a into sin theta as it is okay so finally fx is equal to we can write it as integration of this equation integration of rho gh da sin theta okay this hda sin theta is further modified by considering the projected area of this curved surface okay this hda sin theta again listen this hda sin theta can be modified by considering the projector area of this curved surface so assume this is the right angle triangle we can construct with the help of curved surface as an inclined line and the projected area of the curved surface in vertical in horizontal direction in vertical direction 
we can write the projected areas okay in horizontal direction this is the vertical line is the projected area and in vertical direction uh, this is the horizontal line is the projected area so this inclined line represents here da and uh, the theta is theta as it is only why because it is theta means here this line okay this inclined line as it is represents this one okay and this horizontal line represents the uh, parallel to this horizontal okay otherwise we can uh, say that this uh, dfy is perpendicular to this horizontal line and this df is uh, perpendicular to this inclined line okay so whatever the angle made by these two automatically the same angle made by these two only inclined line and the horizontal line so the theta is again theta so that is according to the perpendicular lines theorem so uh, with respect to this theta we can write it as uh, adjacent uh, line as projected uh, area of the uh, curved surface as da cos theta and upon it is da sin theta and here fx is the horizontal force so when you consider the horizontal force which is acting on the projected area of the curved surface in horizontal direction means this is the vertical line will represent the projected area of this curved surface so that means here this da sin theta can be considered as area of this vertical line or vertical plate we can consider which will be consisting of the area of the projected curved surface here so that means this da we can assume as a particular area which is in the form of vertical plate and h as it is we can write so integration of h into da what it becomes again that is the moment of the area moment of area means that is the uh, location of the center of gravity here so ultimately we can write it as fx is equal to rho g a dash into h bar okay integration h da can be equal to a h bar so similarly this da sin theta we are assuming as a dash which is the area equal to the projected area of the curved surface here and into h bar h bar means it is the distance of the uh, center of gravity of this particular vertical plate we are considering which is the projected area of the curved surface from the free surface of the liquid so this is the fx equation we can derive for the uh, for finding the total pressure force so x component we have determined so next we go for deriving the y component so keep this aside and the y component can be written as dfi is equal to okay adjacent component we can write it as df cos theta in place of df again we can write it as rho g h d a into cos theta okay when you observe this equation again we can say that fy is equal to rho g integration sorry 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 so here dfy means for getting the fy we can write it as integration of this equation okay so when you observe this equation here this h into da this h into da becomes the volume volume of the liquid which is present over the curved surface here okay so that means area or that is the projected area of the curved surface and the height uh, height of the uh, that means the depth of the uh, plate from the free surface so height into area can give the volume so here we can say that this is the force due to the volume which is above the curved surface here that means we can say that uh, fy can be equal to the weight of the liquid which is above the curved surface because uh, this h into da we can assume as a volume so force applied by the volume that is the weight of the liquid we can consider so that weight of the liquid which is present over the sur curved surface we can say that that is the force acting over the curved surface here curved plane here so automatically we can add it as uh, fy is equal to weight of the liquid volume above the curved plane up to free surface so this can be again can be written as uh, uh, rho g into volume of the liquid above the curved plane okay now so rho g as it is constant we can write and hda cos theta okay now volume of elemental strip means we need to consider the volume of the liquid which is present throughout the surface of this uh, curved plane so that becomes the volume of the liquid above the curved plane so this is the final equation we can write for the fy that is rho g into volume of the liquid above the curved surface which will give us a force which is acting over the curved surface in the vertical direction which can be uh, weight of the liquid present over the curved plane here okay so finally we can write the resultant force f is equal to on uh, the normal formula we know square root of fx square plus fy square that is the horizontal component square plus 
vertical components pair okay this is the resultant force which is the total pressure force will be acting over the curved plane when it is submerged in a liquid at a particular height h and here the uh, location of the center of pressure is as it is wherever the center point take place for this curved surface that means here the projected area wherever it is having the center point location from the free surface that point becomes here again uh, the center of pressure location so here uh, we can uh, consider the formula uh, which is uh, similar to the vertical plate when it is submerged in a liquid okay i hope you understand this small derivation for uh, finding the total pressure force uh, for a curved surface when it is submerged in a liquid if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all